Coach Ludwig on the recruiting trail I run into and uh, busy busy month of travel for you so far, has it not been? Absolutely it has been. Yeah, we just got back from a big trip out to Phoenix, Arizona. We took on Grand Canyon out there, so we were out there for about four days. Uh, we went out there, we trained, we walked around, we saw a few things, and uh, then we got to the duel, which we got a good result. We ended up getting, winning nine out of ten matches out there, so that was I was pleased with that. Wrapped it up with seeing Star Wars that night and uh, then came back. So it was a great bonding experience for the guys, and we got a win as well. Any, uh, any Grand Canyon for you? Did you guys go to the Grand Canyon or anything like that? Grand Canyon, oddly, is like four hours away from there. So we thought that was a bit of a bit strange, but uh, we went out to these other places like Superstition Mountain and the Hole in the Rock. So we got to see some cool rock formations and the cactus and all that stuff. So the guys, the guys thought that was fun. Now I catch you on the recruiting trail. You're here for about 35, 40 minutes from DeKalb. What's it like having a you know a top level national tournament in your backyard to recruit? Yeah, I mean I drove up this morning and uh, to see the semis and it's been great action. I mean to have all this nationally elite competition wrestling here right in our own backyard is amazing. I mean for us, we get up here, we get to recruit the local kids. We see some studs from Florida, um, Ohio, Iowa. So for us, it's an advantage. We love it, um, and it's great to have this thing hosted right in our backyard. Florida, seven finalists for uh, Lake Highland team. I'm really impressed with those guys and what I've seen out of them. What's it like to have some a team like that from the south come up here right in your own backyard? What's it like recruiting them? Yeah, that team is uh, is elite. And actually, it's a Northern Illinois area guy coaching down there. So um, he's bringing some Midwest flavor to those kids and their studs. I mean, we see them everywhere. Um, so to recruit those guys, obviously, you know, obviously you just have to sell the program, sell the academics and things like that. Weather shouldn't be a factor if you're a wrestler. I really don't think that... Uh, based on glamorous destinations, but um, obviously they're doing a fine job down there, not to mention the fact that uh, all those kids are very bright as well, so it's going to be a fine job. Right now, right? Looking at, you know, I liked what I saw at a Blyce earlier in the year at the, the at the Open in Michigan State, you know, looking at, you know, some of your results, he, he's had a couple ups and downs since then. Yep. What do you say to guys like Blyce, and how do you build around a guy like that? Yeah, I mean, uh, ups and downs, so, so we're heading into Lindenwood Open, right, after after Eastern Michigan and then Michigan State. So Steve wasn't, you know, I mean, you have to go through the ups and downs. We decided to wrestle him that week despite a few things, you know, with, with his body. And uh, I think it's going to pay off for him in the end. I mean, if you want to talk about downs, losing a close match to Manly at Lindenwood, okay, maybe that's a down. He's a top 10 kid. I like to see him. So now we, we know what we got to do next time. Um, and then we weren't just going to default out. So we wrestled through and we lost on the backside. Um, but... And then Steve lost a tight match. Well, he got pinned by Horan in our duel, but Steve came out, took him down right away, and then we got wrapped up in a scramble and stuff. So for a young kid like Steve, who's a freshman, um, he learned from that. And ultimately, that's what you have to have in your back pocket heading in to try to make a push the NCAA. So we need that experience. We need that competition heading into this hard push. Midland's next for him, so another big test coming up. You guys don't hide from any competition. You go and you wrestle a lot of the Big Ten schools. Obviously Midlands, obviously Michigan State Open. What else, what do you want to get out of a young team? What do you want to see out of those competitions when you go to Michigan State, when you go to Midlands? What do you want to see from the guys? We want to see fearless competition, fearless spirit to score. That's what we emphasize. Fearless pursuit of points, okay? Get out there, look to score your points. If something goes wrong, get on to the next position. And what we mainly look for too is not making the same mistake over and over again. Learn from what may have went right or wrong and use that to your advantage the next time you go out and wrestle your match. But in every single case, we want these guys going out and pushing the pace in every match. MAC duels coming up in January and February. What do you want the kids to, to really get out of wrestling? You know, the MAC is just, it's nails. Yes. It's gotten so much better. You know, it's nine teams from the old traditional six. You're one of the core six. What do you want the guys to get out of the MAC dual season? MAC dual season, I want us to be able to get in position to go ahead and place the MAC tournament and get to the NCAA. Because uh, once, once we're there, you know, it's anybody's that we can. So um, we're looking clearly to try to gain automatic qualifier bids for the, for the MAC conference. And I think every team in the, in the conference is trying to do that right now. The more we have to qualify for, we want to represent our conference at the national tournament. And I think, like I said, when we can get all of our kids there as a conference, we're going to do some serious damage to NCAAs. Um, that coupled with our non-conference schedule, I mean, we're hosting not only the MAC teams, but, but we're hosting Illinois, and then we're going to wrestle SIUE and Citadel in the second half of the year, so our schedule's lined up to be quite tough. I look at, you know, we're here we're at a high school tournament. What do you look for in a recruit? I, I mean, I should ask you that off the rip, yeah. but what are you looking for when you're, when you're recruiting a kid? What are you looking for out here on the mat, off the mat? What are you looking for for a, a Husky? Everybody wants a kid with good grades. Obviously, that makes a statement of what kind of person you are, how organized you want to be in life. Um, and then what we look for out here is, for me, I want to look at a kid again, chasing down scoring opportunities, wrestling hard. What kind of tank does he have? Is he still trying to score as hard as he was in the third period as he was in the first? Um, I think that hanging around, you 
you know, does, doesn't quite lend as well. I want a kid with a deep tank and trying to trying to really attack and score up and throw a lot of points. What was your guys' last All-American? I can't remember. I think it was uh, 05, maybe. 05. Or 04, 05. Do you, Heiser. Heiser. He was a finalist, wasn't he? Yes, correct. When you guys have a guy like that, you know, guys are finalists. He was from Texas. That was yes. bizarre. I remember that. Yeah. But, like, what do you say to the guys, and, and do you use that as a carrot in front of them to, to try and get them to succeed and break the wall down? No doubt about it. We had Ben Heiser and Scott Owen both got inducted to our NIU Athletics Hall of Fame this fall. And we had all of our team come to the reception. They all got to meet these guys and Ben and Scott talked to them about how nice things are, you know, some of the things that these guys have now that they didn't have in the past when they were about two-time All-Americans. So it was nice for them to be able to meet these guys and see that the way has been paid before. It can be done at NIU. It will be done again. Um, quite frankly, we just need to believe um, and, and get somebody on that stand, and that's our main goal right now, and I think we've got some guys that are capable of that. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? That's it, Jeff. Thanks, bud. Thanks.